We must protect the Iran nuclear pact, the joint message to America from Britain, France, Germany and the European Union, who say Tehran has the right to benefit from the lifting of sanctions it brought about. It comes after foreign ministers met top EU diplomats Federica Mogherini in Brussels and as the US administration decides whether to reimpose oil sanctions lifted under the deal. This non-proliferation agreement is essential, he says, and there's no alternative. It's important that all stakeholders respect this shared commitment and consequently that our American allies respect it as well. The EU moves are happening as Iran deals with protests at home, barely touched upon in Brussels. Britain's Foreign Secretary says alongside the pact, Tehran must be pressed on other issues too. In parallel, uh, we should focus on what Iran can do to help resolve the appalling crisis in Yemen, uh, to help push forward uh, peace in Syria and uh, to help resolve other questions in the region. Donald Trump's decision last year not to certify Iran's compliance with the nuclear deal puts America at odds with other signatories. And there's a warning that if Trump reimposes sanctions, the pact could well fall apart. Donald Trump's view of the Iran pact is the opposite to that of the ministers meeting in Brussels. Hailed by backers as crucial to stopping Tehran building a nuclear bomb, the U.S. president says it's the worst deal ever negotiated. The Europeans, they, they are trying hard uh, on both sides, if you like, um, convincing the Americans uh, to stay in the deal. Um, and then, uh, I mean, should uh, the United States drop it, uh, then at least working with the Iranians uh, to give them some time, um, uh, not immediately also leaving the deal, but giving them some time uh, to come to an agreement uh, which, which one way or another uh, can preserve the deal. It's delicate for Iran right now as it faces the demonstrations at home linked to the frustration of young people who thought the lifting of sanctions would improve their lives. That Iran... In Iran, the only people who are happy with the pact are Zarif and Rouhani, or maybe the people close to Rouhani. But the problem is, despite all the state propaganda and their influence on public opinion, they couldn't spark the public's interest in this deal. So I think the Europeans should be aware of that. Iran's foreign minister says Thursday's Brussels meeting had shown a strong consensus that Tehran was complying with the pact.